So before you can use the sampler, we need to create some samples. First of all, we want to open up an audio track. Click Create here, and there's your audio channel. You might want to zoom in a little bit there. There we go. A couple of things you want to do first. I always do this. I click on this part here, right here, and I put on Custom. That's really good for helping me set up loops if I need to. I can see the time of my track. I can see more information. I now want to make sure that I've got my uh, microphone enabled. So my microphone is working and I'm going to press record and I can see that there is sound coming in. Get nice and close to it. Hello, hello. Make sure it's not distorting. Very importantly, make sure it's not distorting on the way in. Otherwise, you'll have a distorted recording. I'm going to press record now. Oi! And stop that there. And there you go. You can see it's recorded me saying, Oi, that's my sample. But I need to trim it up. I want to know that when I press a key on my sampler, that it's going to play Oi straight away. If I was to press play from the beginning, Oi! There's a long period of silence. That's no good for a sampler. So I'm going to double click on this. I'm going to make sure I've got it set to file, not track. It shouldn't be blue like that. It should be gray like this. And then I'm going to highlight this area here, which is where my sample is. I'm then going to go to functions and I'm going to trim. And what trim does, it cuts all the space either side of it, you'll see it change in the marquee above when I click it. It will give you this warning. Delete. There you go. It's got rid of all of that. Now I want the, my sample to come in exactly when I press the button. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. And I can see there's actually still a bit of silence here. So I'm going to grab this blue bit here. See with that, that symbol that's just down the bottom there. And I'm going to move it so that my sample is going to be right at the very start. Now to make sure that it's playing exactly how I want it, I'm going to turn on my loop function here. One thing you want to make sure you do is click on here and make sure you've got it set to region selection. You don't want it set to marquee selection or note selection, you want it set to region. That way, when you click on the sample, it should automatically create a loop just around the exact bit of audio that you've got selected. Now, if I press play, oi, 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 you can hear that my sample is coming in really nicely. I'm going to take the loop off for a section and go right back to the beginning. Oi, no clipping, no kind of cutting in suddenly as it comes in. Just a lovely sample. I'm going to turn this uh, loop on again because I only want to mix down this exactly. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to click on Bounce. It brings up this menu. Yes, I wouldn't like to create an MP3 version as well. All of these formats are absolutely fine, set to 24-bit AIF files, which of course is the Mac equivalent of a WAV file. I've also clicked Normalize. It will automatically make it as loud as it can be. I click on OK. And I'm going to go to a folder I'd already created for the uh, samplers. Uh, and I'm going to throw it in there and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it Oi Sample. And just like I did with the video for creating a sampler, I'm going to now show you. I'm going to click on here. I'm going to open up a software instrument. Going to open up my sampler. I'm going to go on to edit. I'm going to create a new zone. Load an audio sample. There it is. Look, oi. Open that up. There it is. I'm going to set it to key C1. 
and I've got my range is going to go from C1 to C2. There it is. Oi, 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 oi. And there we go. When I come out here, of course, it'll ask me if I want to save it. And I'm going to say yes, save it. I'm going to go to the desktop like I did before. Go to my vocal samples. Now you can see I've already got the samples in from Adele. So I'm going to call this Sampler Instrument 2. Of course, what I could have done was loaded in my OIS sampler, my OIS sample into the, um, the patches I'd already created. But just to show you again how you do it, there we go. And again, I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to save this as a patch. Desktop. Vocal samples, oi, sampler, patch. Okay. And there it is. Now I've got both of those patches in one area. Job done. How to create a sample from recording live audio. Zombie Apocalypse.